Thank you so much for joining everyone. It's really, really, really lovely and fantastic to see so many of you here. Um, I couldn't be happier. Um, and this has been really quite the incredible year for many of us in many different ways. Um, and yeah, I definitely think that no one could uh, have really like really wished for a year like that, but also a lot of positive things came out of um, this. For example, that we can have a virtual event like this one where a lot of people from a lot of different continents, as I can see in the poll are joining. So thank you so much. This is supposed to be a very informal, fun gathering for you all to get to know each other. And um, so we will just be talking a little bit about how it is that we came here, where we want to go next year with you. Um, and then we will launch officially the, uh, the groups for 2021. And then we will port you into a different universe where you then have time to meet each other. Alrighty. So uh, I think uh, to just bring you a little bit up to speed on uh, where we what we're going to do today. I will quickly walk you through our 2020 year uh, to then launch into 2021 groups. And then you get uh, the rest of the day to just socialize with each other uh, in a variety of different new virtual spaces. And a few of us have already tried them out. I'll tell you more about it in a little bit. But perhaps to give you uh, kind of like a quick of how we got here. And uh, I think we all started this year in a way that none of us would have wished for, uh, that if perhaps a few of us could have predicted. But I'm sharing my screen to show you that, you know, during lockdown, what happened is that this community came together twice a day on uh, twice a day for 10 weeks uh, to try to make sense of COVID. If you're interested uh, in reading and listening to any of the videos that came out of this, uh, then please feel free uh, to uh, to go on this uh, on the Salon's channel. Um, this was really, I think, the, the kickoff of our virtual community. Uh, and I'm really, really happy that uh, it, it now means that we get to spend so much time with so many of you. Uh, it was quite the treat, I think, to see so many of you kind of like uh, gather there for so often. We had 70 meetings in total. We had 600 participants uh, in total. And we had over 100 uh, keynote speakers to try to make sense of COVID and then also launch into perhaps um, a few opportunities in this crisis and how we can now make the most of it. And so that, that kind of gave us the idea that, hey, we should be doing, uh, we should be collaborating much more closely on a more longer term scale. Um, and, and the virtual definitely, I think, unlocks that really well. I made a report trying to summarize the whole thing in case you care, care to read it. But if you were part of this, either the Sanity Preserver, the Daily One, or the Hive Mind, then please feel free to say so in the chat so people, when they meet you later on the uh, socializing platform, they can point out uh, and, and they can talk to you about it. Uh, it was definitely a crazy experience to be online twice a day with all of you for 10 weeks. Uh, all right, um, so far so good. I think, you know, um, one thing that has um, been unlocked by the virtual is that we've booked been collaborating with the people that are very close to our hearts and minds much closer throughout this year. Um, and so we have uh, fellows, we have Feynman Prize winners, uh, and we have even a few accelerator projects. And all of those uh, we got to meet uh, really uh, on a, I think, on a, on a much closer hearted way, um, paradoxically via the virtual. And so I just want to give you a very, very quick overview of really who to look out for um, as you'll be joining uh, the virtual spaces uh, in just a second. Um, okay, so let's see if I can share my screen again. So, uh, and please to all the fellows that we that I'm calling out, please say your name and say your fellow profile uh, in the uh, in the chat box so people can know to look out for you as we join uh, the virtual gathers. So here we go. We have Felix Faber, the Fawcett Fellow in Machine Learning Accelerated Drug and Materials Discovery. We have Matthew Ryder in Molecular Scale Engineering. We have Daniel Bojar in uh, Health and Longevity. Oh, Lou, would you care to mute yourself? <laughs> Thank you. Um, we have Juliana Rotola in Space Studies. We have Caroline Jomer, I think, who just joined in AI Governance. We have Anne Elton in AI. We have Aleftina F. Gavuba in Sustainable Agriculture. We have Tony Lay in Legal Engineering for the Biosphere. We have Jeff Ladish in Fawcett Fellow in Biosecurity. And we have Tessa Alexanian in Responsible Biotechnology. So to all of you, congratulations uh, on uh, the 2020, 2020 fellowship on having been such fantastic fellows. It was such a joy to work so closely alongside of you and have our monthly check-ins. Please say who you are in the chat so people can find you and, uh, and go talk to you. Um, all right, lovely. So with that being said, I also wanna introduce you to our 2021 fellowship class. So all of the 2021 fellows, congratulations and welcome to our new fellowship class. You will be very, very closely collaborating with the groups that we will unveil in, in just a second. So we made sure that we actually um, uh, kind of like 
have very specific focus areas in the next year, including biotech health extension, molecular machines, intelligent cooperation, uh, and existential hope. More about that in a second, but I'll first pinpoint a few folks that you don't want to miss meeting. So if I call your name as a fellow, please say hi in the chat so people can talk to you. We have JJ Van Joseph in Biotech and Health Extension, and we have Stephen Molina in Biotech and Health Extension. We have James Cooper in Molecular Machines, uh, who was actually chairing the Molecular Machines group and who will say a, a little bit in just a minute. We have Maxim Zadinov, I'm hoping I'm not butchering your name, as well in Molecular Machines. We have Junjan Q in Molecular Machines, and we have Jessica Lam, and we have Thomas Schroeder, and we have Liang Fang in Molecular Machines. The application in Molecular Machines this year was so strong. It, uh, I'm very, very honored to be working alongside of all of you uh, and super excited for that. Um, in Intelligent Corporation, we have Jazir Brooks, um, we have Kate Sills, and we have Christopher Lammer Weber, and we have Joshua Bach. So if you're here and if you hear your name calls, then please make sure that you say who you are in the chat so people can go and find you. The same holds for Tzu Xiao, who I'm hoping, again, I'm not uh, butchering your name. Uh, finally, final group, the Existential Hope Group. So everyone in the Existential Hope Group, make sure you go and uh, talk to uh, David Mannheim, to Primavera di Filippi, to Jeep Faizi, and to Phoebe Tickle. All right, so if I called your name, please let people know who you are uh, so that they can make sure to watch out for you. Then we also have um, a few other folks that I want to pinpoint to you. Um, and so this is our Foresight Senior Fellows. So all the Senior Fellows now, uh, go for it and just say your name in the chat. Um, and uh, so that people, if they're a little shy and don't know who to talk to, know that they could talk to you. We have Marcus Miller in Computation. We have Martin Edelstein in Chemistry. We have Rob Meagley in Nanotechnology. Christine Peterson, who co-founded for and policy. We have Samu Bouja in political science. We have Anders Sandberg in philosophy and Creon Levitt in applied physics. So that is quite the stellar cast. I welcome you to speak to really everyone and all of them. Um, I think we really, really have a lovely selection here. Please make yourself uh, shown in the chat. Uh, and then uh, two more people there, uh, two more groups of people that I want to highlight to you. Then uh, we will launch a new groups, I promise. I just want to make sure you don't miss them. So please bear with me. Um, so next one up, we had a fantastic accelerator this year. And uh, I mean, not only was the accelerator fantastic in terms of the mentors that we had. Uh, and so all the mentors that were there, please say hi now in the chat. We had a really, really fantastic group of mentors for our Healing the Planet Accelerator that was trying to make radical progress on the planet with new science and technology. If you are one of them, and if you were part of this group, then please say hi now in the chat so people can find you. Uh, um, we had a really, really, really fantastic crowd, but our mentors were all about stewarding our fantastic projects along. So we had large scale um, passive carbon sequestration. That was a project by Paul Boone and Chris Wilmer. If you're here, one of you say hi in the chat so people can talk to you. We had Project Vesta, Olivine Accelerated Coastal Enhanced Weathering. If you're here, then please, uh, please, please, please say hi in the chat, Tom, Kelly, or, um, or Eric, so people can find you. And we had CT Fusion with Derek Sutherland. Derek, if you're here and if people want to talk fusion with you, make yourself aware now so people can go and talk to you. And then we had the Farm Foresight app with our senior and junior fellow, Alef Aleftina and Kuyan Levitt. So a bunch of different apps were, and a bunch of different uh, projects were developed. It was a total joy to have that. Uh, and then uh, last but not least, really last but not least, I want to introduce you to our uh, 2020 Feynman Prize uh, winners. So our Feynman Prize winners um, uh, are something that Foster has been doing now, giving out now for over 10 years. And once a year, we prize those people that make the best progress on, on the long-term goal of molecular machines. Um, this year, I'm incredibly honored uh, to have uh, here with us today, Hao Jian in Biodesign Center for Molecular Design, uh, for molecular design and Biomimetics. And he, uh, well, he received uh, this year the 2020 Feynman Prize in nanotechnology in the category experiment. How, if you're here with us, and I think you are, then just say hi in the chat so people know how to find you. And the same holds true for Massimiliano Di Ventra. He not only wrote a fantastic book about science, uh, he's at the University of uh, California in San Diego. Hello, and uh, you have a really great, great background cover for that. 
uh, Massimiliano won the 2020 Feynman Prize in Nanotechnology Category Theory. Uh, so congratulations for, from all of us at Foresight. It was also, again, a very, very, I think, um, very, very competitive, <laughs> competitive prize this year. Uh, congratulations to, to both of you, really. Uh, and then Liang Feng, who's not only a 2021 Foresight Fellow, but who also managed to snatch the Distinguished Student Award. Uh, so Liang, if, you, uh, if you're here, uh, then please make yourself known in the chat and say hi, uh, and just say hi and share uh, a little bit about yourself. Uh, and about your uh, your title and accomplishments in the chat. Um, so uh, I'm I'm really 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 um, excited to to have so many fantastic folks uh, joining. All right. Um, I think uh, Anthony is also here. And uh, so <laughs> what we did last year. Um, uh, and this is a fun perk. So Foresight is all about Foresight, correct? And so what we did last year at our member gathering is we actually tried to make a few predictions about what may happen uh, in the next year. And you know, of course, I think this was a little bit of a hard thing to predict uh, what, what we had and uh, what we had going on this year, even though a few people claimed that they have predicted it. Um, but nevertheless, at uh, the last year around this time, November last year, we made a few predictions. And so if you wanna look at them, I will share them with you in the chat. Um, this is just for, for fun. And a few of you know that we, Fawcett has been making predictions at uh, our senior associate gatherings many years ago or something. Um, and we had a little few techie thing going on with Robin Hansen. So we did that again, uh, this time using Metaculus, a fantastic service um, from Anthony Aguirre. Anthony, if you are here, then I would say, say hi in the chat so people can go and talk to you about Metaculus when they see you. Um, this has been really a fantastic, a fantastic tool uh, that many of us uh, have been loving to use. So here we go with Metaculus. I'll quickly share my screen just to give you a glimpse of the questions that we tackled there. Uh, so here we go with Metaculus. Um, fantastic. Um, so let's go. Fantastic. We had this were all of the predictions from 2020, right? And we had all of the speakers, Robin Hansen, Sonia Arson, and so forth, make their predictions. And then we followed up again, and we actually have a winner. Um, he goes by a pseudonym. So if you are the winner uh, of the Metaculous Prize and you do want to unveil yourself so people can uh, go speak to you and ask you how the hell you won those, uh, those, those predictions, um, then, then please do so as well. So people can go and find you later uh, in the socializing areas. So uh, we did have a really, really, really strong uh, winner there and it's, it's been quite a hard thing to forecast. So this just gives you a glimpse of the things that we discussed last year. Well, little did we know, <laughs> uh, but, uh, and, 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 you know, maybe also food for thought of, you know, what could you predicting for the next year out? Okay, so this is a lot of things that I shared with you now about all the crazy little items that we did this year and we will keep all of them running. Plus we're gonna do something else instead. Um, not, not instead, it, in addition, and this is why I think most of you are actually here today, right? Um, and so today I want to uh, unveil to you the groups uh, that we'll be spending most of our days with uh, in the next year. I'm super, super excited. Lou and I have been working our, uh, our asses off in, uh, in, uh, in, in, in the last few months to, uh, to kind of unveil to you a new um, kind of like 2021 program by which you all get uh, to kind of collaborate more long term. And um, and I think that many of you here have uh, already know a few of the members in those individual groups. So I try to keep it brief just to make sure that you are able to join those groups uh, uh, all, uh, all right. And that everyone here also knows what the other groups uh, will be working on throughout the next year. So that next year, when we come together in 2021, we can check in on each other's progress, right? We'll be dispersing throughout most of the year into four different groups. We will have a group on biotech and health extension. That one's already running. We will have a group on molecular machines, pushing for Feynman's vision of molecular technology. We will have a group on intelligent cooperation, and we will have a group on existential hope. So they will be working separately throughout the next year. You should be in one of the groups. If you're not, then text me in a private chat and I will sort it out. Um, but this will be a very, very streamlined approach of trying to actually push technologies along. And uh, because of the virtual, what has been unlocked uh, is the fact that we don't ask for people to fly across the world anymore. Now we ask for an hour of the time. That allowed us to reach out to the best 
people in those fields to ask them to do a specific keynote in an area that we think is very important uh, to accelerate progress in that area. Then we invited a bunch of uh, uh, really <laughs> leaders in the field uh, as participants and perhaps future keynotes to try to form a community, a long-term community around those goals. So those groups will be more like accelerators. They're pretty action oriented. Um, and we're hoping that at, at the end of 2021, we actually get together and we have a pre-project uh, proposal that come out of it. Uh, if not a few projects are already up and running. Um, and so just to give you again, a very, very uh, little uh, crazy overview of the kinds of groups that uh, you can be expecting uh, in the next year, I will uh, kind of like very quickly just flash the program of the individual group so you know a little bit what the others are up to in the next year right and you can really hold them accountable so are you ready for the first group all right here we go this is the biotech and health extension group this is the program uh, for this group so in january this group very much the first half of the year we will only be meeting to discuss the main uh, goals of uh, of the field and the biggest areas for multiplying progress in that area and then second half of the year we'll be trying to get projects around those we'll be kicking off with industry blind spots. We will then move to an academic perspective. What's missing to drive the aging field forward? We'll be discussing clinical trials and analytics. We'll be discussing promising aging work from an NIA perspective. We'll have a biomarker development for FDA recognized diseases. We will focus on platforms, tools, and data analysis for long-term program on aging research. We'll focus on specific aging clock development. We'll focus on biomarker standardization. And then from August to December, we have an open space in which hopefully <laughs> that is the goal. That is why I'm telling you all about it to hold myself accountable. Projects will follow out of this and we will actually um, get, some, uh, get some work done. There is a prize money for this available too. So uh, there, it's not like, <laughs> like there aren't any options. Um, all right. So next on up, we have the molecular machines group. I will quickly type in the password, bear with me. And this uh, is very, very much similar in style to the biotech group. But here, of course, uh, the, um, the goal is to push for long-term progress on molecular machines. So first we have an introduction by James. Uh, James Cooper is not only our, our foresight fellow, but he is also the chair of this fantastic group. So James, uh, if you're here, I'll unmute yourself to just say hi, uh, so that people know who to talk to uh, if they're in that group. Uh, hey, James, are you here? Yep, yep. Hello, everyone. So uh, I'm James Cooper. I'm the, the chair of this group. I think we've got a really exciting program um, lined up for this year, about 17 participants as well so far. Um, do you want me, I can run through the program for you very quickly if you like, but um, if, if you want to, but I don't know if you've got the, the screen up, but yeah, we'll look at some um, some more molecular molecular machines, looking at some work on next generation nanomaterials. We'll have some work on uh, single molecule molecular machines, which is more in line of like um, Feynman's visions and things like 8-bit adders, an area that I'm particularly excited to learn more about because it's outside of my field. And then towards the end of the program, it's looking at things related to technology enhanced synthesis and out of equilibrium systems. So we're starting to move more towards how biology works, which I think is a big inspiration for why many of us are in this field, um, certainly myself. Um, so I, I think we've got a really exciting program lined up. Um, I'm really keen to yeah. meet all the people that have responded to us. We've sent out loads of emails to people around the community who we really want to interact with and the, the response has been absolutely phenomenal. So yeah, I'm really excited. I hope everyone else is as well. I am so excited. James, thank you so much for working on this with me. Uh, it's really, really, really fantastic. Uh, it's a, a fantastically strong group. Again, here we have, um, you know, the hope that at the end of this, we will have a few projects come out of this that actually make fieldwide progress in the space. Uh, next one up, uh, we have the um, next one up, James, if you want to meet yourself, that would be awesome. Uh, next one up, we have the Intelligent Corporation Group. So again, a, a group that is very, very close to my heart. Um, and it's, uh, it's a group that I'll be very involved with uh, throughout the next year. Um, this group will be looking at decentralized uh, coordination technologies, including cryptography, computation, machine learning, to help people cooperate on a much more decentralized way and become more resilient uh, and, and to rely a little less on top-down control. Uh, so again, we'll be introducing uh, the field with Mark Miller, who is co-chairing the group. And we will then discuss why progress uh, happened and why value pluralism is important. We have a Nobel Prize winner in there and, and to speak a little bit about opportunities for, for prosperities. 
We have Taiwan's digital minister to talk about technologies of how to opening up uh, a little bit more closed societies. We will discuss specific crypto innovations that enhance cooperation. And we will discuss a smooth, peaceful transition toward a more uh, crypto commerce-like ecosystem. We will discuss with Danny Ellsberg, with uh, the author of The Doomsday Machine Who Leaked the Pentagon Papers, defenses against automated physical threats. We will discuss defenses against automated digital threats with our fellow Kate Silts. Uh, we will discuss how to cooperate better with artificial intelligences. And we're super happy to have Peter Norway from Google join for that one. Uh, in, 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 I know, but as I feel, I'm super, super keen and I'm ready for that for the keynote. We will then discuss space resource distribution uh, and we will then move to, well, once we figure that out, how we can have very, very good long-term dynamics of more and more intelligent games. So this, this group is a little bit more out there and um, it is very, very close to my heart. It's uh, somewhat based on a book that I'm writing to highlight a few of those technologies. So I'm super excited to be spending much more time with you. Um, Lou, uh, if you, are you here, Lou? Uh, in case you yes, are. I'm okay. back. I'm so sorry, everyone. My computer completely crashed with uh, absolute um, grace and uh, perfect timing. But um, now I can tell you a little bit more about the existential hope group that I will be uh, stewarding next year, uh, if you will allow me. So um, here is. Um, yeah, the program is just here. So. Um, Existential hope, it's the idea of proposing beautiful visions for the future in the hope to create some sort of positive self-fulfilling prophecies, right? And so focusing really on uh, where we want to go and actually the most um, extraordinary futures we can uh, we dare imagine. So uh, we'll start in February with a kickoff and like set the tone with actually the uh, Alison and the author of the person of the um, original paper on existential hope, to be odd. Um, then we will dive into uh, macro challenges for humanity, so uh, sense making and, uh, of course, um, global warming. Um, we will then go into some technology uh, spaces, we'll focus precisely on space, uh, and then dive into governance, um, sorry, space and uh, cognitive enhancement. Uh, and then we will uh, dive into governance uh, with uh, a detour through uh, institutions, uh, study and finally study um, liberatory technotopias. This is not a full program, so uh, we will end with a bang, but uh, it's still, it's not there uh, yet, so keep uh, in touch. We, at the end, uh, we will focus on very long-term visions, like the super inspiring stuff and um, finish with a meeting of all the biggest long-termist organizations to get a status update and uh, action items on what they are doing. That's it. Thank you, Lou. <laughs> all right, so after this very, very brief overview that hopefully tickled your appetite a little bit, um, I now want to uh, actually get you to talk to each other, OK? This is what you're all here for, so let's go, OK? So uh, what I would now ask you to do, and please bear with me, we are now gonna be teleporting into your individual lounges where you meet the people of your group. And bear with me, teleporting has never been easy. <laughs> uh, but we will do it together. We are holding hands as we do it. And the most important thing, Lou and I will always be here in the Zoom. If anything goes wrong and you cannot teleport into the crack room, come back here and we will do it all over again. So bear with me for just a second. Uh, I, I want to make sure you arrive on this other world in one piece. So I will now explain to you bit by bit exactly how to do it. Um, and so the most important thing to note is that this morning we send out a new email with a new link. So do not use the test link in case you've already tried out this room. It is a new room. So open up the email that you received today. In that email, it should, it should say at 11.30, meet in lounge. And then there's a lounge with the lounge uh, of the group that you are in it. Don't click on it yet. Don't click on it yet. Don't click on it yet. Let me explain to you a little bit um, just to make sure that everyone actually arrives there in one piece. Because the moment you're in there, you have to cut Zoom. Otherwise, there will be a feedback. So that will be lost to us. <laughs> um, so uh, 
if you if you want to join that room, please use Google Chrome uh, or use Brave. Um, uh, it does not work. We've been talking to the developers of this room. It does not work yet on the other browsers, but it will soon. So once uh, you're on the you once you have that link, click on that link, port into that new room, create an avatar, and then there will be volunteers awaiting for you. And, and to show you a little bit about how that's done, I will uh, I will do so now. And I'm hoping that my screen share uh, will work. Okay, so here we go. I am now joining the gather room on molecular machines. I am porting into that new room. Um, I you have to click on join the gathering, and I'm in it. So this is the new virtual world that you will be inhabiting for your individual rooms. You can walk around, and you already see that there's a few people in there. If you do have any problems, meet again here in the Zoom. So from now on, I can only say, open the email link, hover over the link that has the loungest name of your group, and on one, two, three, you click that link, and then you uh, you uh, you cut off Zoom. Okay? Let's all put together into a new virtual 2021, and we will see you again in the virtual headquarter uh, uh, in 25 around 25 minutes. In case you care to socialize with other groups. The main kickoff of these individual groups where we talk about um, all of the um, um, heavy, steady progress, uh, progress and, um, and goal setting will be in January for the individual groups. So let's try to not talk so much about work just yet. Let's try to get to know each other in a fun way. OK, happy holidays from every day from everyone at Foresight. I'll see you on the other side. I'll see you in the virtual lounges.